Raiders, you landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Solitan radar. Contact us on Kodak if you have questions. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, apologies for, well, the extended hiatus, let's call it. Um, chief reason among many, been uh, very preoccupied this year, very busy, unfortunately. Hey, cat. You're a cool guy. I don't really want to waste meter right now, so... Yeah, uh, it's been a busy year. Apologies for, like, no heads up about what's been going on. Um, this is just a very casual, just kind of chill session. I haven't played Revenge in quite some time properly. And I was never particularly great at it. Damn it. Okay, almost knocked right up. So, um, playing this on the 360 with a very wonky controller, to be completely honest. Um, don't have a charge pack anymore, so I have to use a cable. Um, and basically pray that I've kept it in place with a, a bit of sticky tape. Um, whoop, whoops, wow, okay. Buttons, gotta get used to them. Um, fresh riding relatively new file um, I'm gonna be skipping through cutscenes except for um, the boss ones that is I'm basically just gonna run through this level kind of annoying earlier I managed to like get the um, the parry immediately and slice all three so I'll probably cut in the clip in a sec nice try but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you and parry to parry incoming hits throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive Raiden, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Yeah, I'm just Let's gonna skip this shit. You will take. As it also, also so, I so, um, about a year ago, I went, ah, fuck it. And I finally bothered just sitting down and properly beating this game. So this was my first Platinum game way back in 2015. Whoop. God damn it, of course. Now I'm actually recording properly. I'm gonna fuck everything up. So I bought this after watching a couple of Best Friends videos, Super Best Friends Play videos of this game. Um, that got me started on the Platinum journey. Um, this game's really good. I bounced off it really hard though. Try to flank them. Or approach from behind. Mainly because it, it just didn't click with me immediately. I'm whoop. And sometimes I forget the buttons. Sometimes I forget the buttons. Like so. <laughs> wow, this is embarrassing. Um, so yeah. Got bodied by Blade Wolf quite a few times over. Managed to beat him eventually. Um, didn't waste homing missiles, I think. <laughs> Man, that's looking a little more JPG than I realized. Raiden, take that main I forget the correct way to do this, but to I kind of fucked up going to the left your earlier, so... Radar and IR yeah. Data to your AR anyway, Revengeance play. completely uh, fucking bodied me. Um, over good. the years, I managed to bullshit my way up to Monsoon, and that's kind of where things stopped, because I just couldn't fucking beat him, because I'm not very... I was... Operation. well, I'm better now but I wasn't very good at the game back then. And to a degree, I'm still not amazing. Um, this is not quite Sword Legion the game. Well, I mean, technically it is, but you know. You know what I mean. Some of the Astral Chain skills aren't as transferable as I would hope. That said, running Slide Kick um, into Zandatsu is always an easy way to win. Oh, we... Yeah, okay, cool. He survived. Um, so yeah, got bodied hard by Revengeance. Then at the end of, towards the end of 2015, I think it was September, Transformers Devastation happened. And that game clicked with me a lot more. Mainly because I think it's probably easier. And you can button mash a lot more, to be honest. Um, the aesthetic and art style probably helped because, yeah, I did the playthrough of Transformers, well, last year, Feb, I believe it was. And I would have said then the art style, the music, the gameplay, it's all really good. Stuff you'd expect from Platinum. 
Let him know he is safe. Okay, let's just make sure. Yep, yeah, okay, B. Yes, I could slash him, but I'm not gonna. I know what it does. Um, but yeah. Devastation, hell of a lot easier. Took me an hour and a half to beat that very first level the first time around. Um, Megatron gave me some trouble, I remember. I don't think I said all this when I played through Devastation, actually, so... Good time to bring it up. Oh boy, this is gonna be very embarrassing. Um, my parrying is rather weak, as you might have noticed already. Okay, yep. Oh, here we go. Let's stick. Um, due to the nature of um, how this controller is, it's a fairly old 360 controller. Oh, oh Christ. It's back from when we got our Xbox way back in 2010. So, um, it's well worn. Not quite our GameCube controllers that are missing the uh, tops of the sticks. Oh Christ, wow. Yep, you can hear the mashing. You can hear my expertise showing. But yeah, they are well loved. Whoop. Whoa, okay. I must have damaged it enough, I'm shocked. Anyway, um, and in some in-between period, I ended up playing a bit of Bayonetta 1. Um, oh Christ, oh boy, this is bad. Oh, got it. Bullseye. Um, which I actually went to recently, the other month. The Wii U version. Oh no. Oh boy, this is, uh, this is demonstrating how great I am. Man, I've definitely, my skills have languished in the meantime. Oh no. There we go. Damn it! I'm shocked they dropped. I'm shocked that's an eight. Very good, Ryder. Now, <laughs> I wouldn't call it good, but thank you, Boris. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Um, yeah, Bayo one's a lot harder than I remember. And I got around to watching, uh, Wooly and Reggie's LP of it, finally. After having not watched it in full. Um, yeah. Well, actually, speaking of which, this is the uh, 23rd of October. Bayo 3 is five days off, basically. Um... This is after all the controversies occurred. Um, at least I hope. So things are a little more clear as to what's occurred. Oh yeah, Babylon's Fall happened. No, I didn't buy it. You could probably tell from the lack of videos about it. it wasn't, um, had no intention on touching that, to be honest. And, yeah, it's nice to know Platinum's insisted they're doubling down on games as a service. I'm very pleased to hear that. I'm hopefully just going to like slap this together tonight and be done with it. You can see that control button mashing from Devastation showing up. Whoa. Okay. In that, you know, I'm not playing this with any real expertise. But yeah, uh, Babylon's Fall occurred. No, Platinum, I'm not helping you out with that. I did, I'm not touching it. Never, as far as I'm concerned, unless some miracle happens. It's already shut down, I think. Um, god damn it. Wow, these geckos are really, uh, giving it to me. So yeah, uh, Babylon's Fall came and went. Platinum's apparently not learned. Uh, the Bayo 3 stuff happened, which seemed a bit fishy, so you'll be happy to know. I was one of the people with the pitchfork chasing after Kamira at all. Um, kind of seemed a bit sus, and, uh, sus to begin with. So, uh, yeah. Let's put a bit of, bit of a dampener on a game I've been looking forward to for years, though. Bit of a shame. That said, uh, yeah, voice actors probably should be paid more. But I don't think this instance and what occurred really helps the argument, sadly. And kind of detracts from it. They're definitely worth a lot more than they get paid. And shocking to hear that bit about Breath of the Wild with, uh, Rivali's... Yes, Rivali's VA. Um... Uh, speaking of Nintendo exclusives, Blade Wolf o Origins. <laughs> Wait, what am I saying? Blade Wolf. Beast Legion Origins. I'll, I'll leave this cutscene play. Um, but yeah. 
getting back to the point of been skipping around for like 10 minutes at this point. Um, a lot of shit happened. I've been incredibly busy with work. I've been chipping away at videos in the background that haven't really come to fruition. Um, turns out I lost my mojo with Astral Chain. So I w I've been working on a video on and off since effectively May or June. Um, that was meant to be relatively short. That shot's really fucking sick still. Um, where I was just gonna overlay some cool music from other stuff, like this. Um, Damon X Machina, you know, finally getting some recognition on the channel again. Bunch of stuff like that. Um, and that, as, as per usual, turned out to be a bigger project than I envisioned because I can't help myself. So, uh, yeah, something that should have been done in two days is go has been going on for half a year, basically. Well done, me. You don't say. Um, okay, then. What's the meaning of life? Also wanted to redo Stains of Time, which will happen eventually. Um, what else really happened? Um, unfortunately, it's getting a bit personal, I apologize. Um, one of our cats, um, passed away back in, uh, March. You know, roughly a month after Elden Ring that's happened. It. By the way, that's a really it's fucking good game. Don't know if people know. Um, so, as you can imagine, my mood was a bit for quite a while. Uh, she was uh, one of the co-commentators on the channel. You can hear her in the uh, last Astral Chain vid at a bunch of Bloodborne. But I did, well, years ago at this point. So, uh, yeah. She's only got one cat at least, so that's nice. Not really a dog person. Blade Wolf's cool though. So, uh, yeah, shit has occurred. So, again, apologies, I've said like fucking nothing. I tend to try to keep my, well, my personal life separate from the channel, so apologies if I don't really, you know. I, I try to like comments and listen and all that, I read them. But I might not respond to all of them, so apologies. I'm not a super social person, internet wise. Mostly a well-trained lurker at this point. That doesn't sound shady at all. Boy, that was really well done, me. Okay. It's gonna be embarrassing if I get hit by that. So yeah, um... Just as it is, back when I played this game... Basically... I didn't really get parrying... Like, I understood how it worked, the button prompts. But it didn't quite click with me. Um, in the way that something like Devastation or Astral Chain did. Um, so it took me a bit. Let's see if I can nail this again. I mean, it's not very hard. There we go. Damn it, I should've just gone YB. Would've been way better. They're not playing nice. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Must've been an aid. I mean, when in doubt, just, uh, do that. But yeah, this, uh, 360 controller. Um... I think the stick's a little dodgy, which made fighting Armstrong, a particular part of Armstrong when he throws the stuff at you, quite frustrating, because I don't think it lines up properly, so I'm just kind of using Y and B for it, or whichever buttons it is, I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, I can't help myself, I'm regressing into the button mash. Um, yeah, I think... What ended up happening was, I got back into playing this game about a year ago, when I, well, you know, because of Astral Chain. Because I got up to the part where, oh, File 5, which, um, yeah, it's been a while since I recorded that. Hmm. Um, and I wanted to edit some Blade Wolf stuff in. Which is why the Beast Legion won't shut up the entire fight, because I slapped a ton of sound clips over the top of it. And then from that point, I kind of just played and got better. Not amazing, as you can probably see right now, but I'm definitely better than I was in the first place, and I'm definitely better than I am right now. So just earlier on, I replayed up to just past here, to the helicopter. Uh, so yeah, haven't played properly in a while. Oh, here we go. We had one of our exchange students come back that we um, hosted a couple of years ago during coronavirus, so it was the perfect time to come to Australia. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, after two years of dodging it, I finally caught COVID. I was pretty lucky, thankfully. Um, but yeah, no, uh, kind of sucked. 
definitely not fake compared to what some dickheads apparently still insist. Very much real, I can tell you that much. I'm not a paid actor. You can trust me on this. Alright, let's not fuck this up. 40 parts at least, come on. So you can hear me probably button mashing. Okay, wow, I'm doing a lot better than last time. Oh, that's right, I got 40 hits, so that's two more. I love the comedic timing on the explosion, it's always great. But yeah, um, one of our exchange students came back. Um, back when he was here in 2020, so you know, right at the start of all the, um, the fun times we've had over the last two and a half, well, almost three years. Um, yeah, I showed him a bit of um, DMC5. You know, it was about a year old at that point, he thought it looked really sick. He thought Nero's dropkick in particular was fucking rad. Um, I only showed him a bit, and then when he went back to his home country of Germany... Oh wow, that was by accident. You can tell by the fact I fucked it up, and then it got that afterwards. Um, also, I think it's, um, well, this is going a lot better than last time, because I'm just mashing. And you can probably tell, no upgrades. I haven't beat Mistral on this file, so... Yeah, nothing like that. Alright, I've got to concentrate for this, for this part, so I'll just finish my thought. Um, came over, played DMC, oh, saw a bit of DMC5, liked it a lot. He's typically a shooter person who's never really been a controller person either. Um, bought it, had some trouble. When he was back, I let him play my overpowered Nero, who has everything, just about. Um, liked it a lot, tried a bit of V, I showed him all of Dante's bullshit. Um, and then after that, um, he'd seen Astral Chain, so I showed him this. Um, we, I got up to just past here at the helicopter. It's why I've got a match. Just gotta remember that. One thing I don't really miss from this game and Bayo 1, and you can probably tell where this is going, um, cutscene insta kills kind of suck. Especially when you don't know when they're coming, and even then, if you don't mash hard enough. But yeah, um, he, re he thought this game was fucking sick. So I showed him the intro of Devastation, I showed him some of Automata, which um, I played a good chunk of actually, finally. Um, no, I didn't beat A, but I played a chunk of um, 2B. I got pretty close, I got up to, without spoiling a game that's five years old, um, I got up to the Salt City, did that, and I was just past, I was just a bit past that. Really good game, that was about, about a month ago, I'll get back eventually. That's it, uh, this fight. I hope there's an elegant, intended way to do it, but wow. Okay, we got it, sick. I don't think I'm gonna S rank Digi helicopters like Pat did almost 10 years ago. Especially because they used a the missile. Um, yeah. That Automata's a good game. I am shocked some weird discourses obviously occurred that I haven't paid attention to, and everyone says it's a bad game now. Um, I don't really know what everyone expected. Platinum did their fucking job. And they did it really well and it saved the company. So, I, I don't know. Yes, the combat's fairly easy and rudimentary. I don't really know what anyone expected. It does the job really bloody well. But that's a really good game. I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, I will get back to it properly one day. For sure, but... Alright. Let's not fuck this up. But yeah, no, uh, Automata is really rad. I, I put like, what, close to that 24 hours into it? Spent a lot of time farming, missed some missions due to not realizing how story progression works. Mostly not knowing how to get to the beach before that mis the uh, story mission occurred. Speaking of which, that section is really fucking cool. Really shows off uh, a lot of Platinum's other good points that aren't just combat. And definitely didn't feel as janky as I've heard um, some of the other sections like in Bayo. Uh, um, look, this is a very casual video, so we're not doing this properly. I'm sorry. Some guy's about to get murdered. Gotta be pretty 
stupid to try and hide here. Whoa, okay, that was weird. Had a weird soft lock issue soft lock issue go uh, occur just then, I guess. Okay, I think he's dead. I think I did it. So yeah, um earlier on I played up to just about Warbador. Where um yeah, Kevin starts talking and says, Hey, um, locked. Shit's locked. So yeah, this is incredibly sloppy, I know. Um Yeah, I just feel like this is the game to just screw around with because I'm still regaining my mojo of Astral Chain. Um, so much so that ironically I haven't played it for even more. For, for even longer, um, months at this point, in spite of working on that video for months. But um, I kind of get into this funk of, well, I told you, sir. Um, get into this funk of can't record, can't work on anything new until I finish something else. Unless it's a music edit, in which case I go fuck that. I, I do what I want. Some kind of um, lock but yeah, it's why I never really like kept it, going right with Dark Souls, which I could have fucking finished hand. months ago at this point. And got that access, monkey off my shoulder. And, uh, it? Yep, you okay, sure. We'll, we'll get the here, arms. Um, Check the vehicle route again. <sighs> come on. Back the to the old city. Yep. <laughs> Walk and talk. Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely platoon commanders can use enhanced... Okay, good. I could skip that. My bad. Just wasn't. I, I think it wasn't shown the prompt. I've heard him being really, really dumb and asinine. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't believe that counted. This part also took me a bit because I wasn't very good with the Zandatsu back then, even with a properly functioning controller. Whoop. Up. Oh, it's just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. Yeah, um, have to work on the lock off. Because I fucked that up royally just then. Okay. Yep. Do that. Did that work? I believe it did. If it did that, it'd be very fortuitous, but I highly doubt. Right. You you missed them all? Ah, uh, well, you just have to fight your way through. Okay. Huh. I, I swore there was another truck coming in, but it seemed like nothing happened. Yeah, as you can see, uh... I'm, uh, very good at this game. Oh, Christ, it's happening. It's happening. Oh, no. Let's try this again. This is weird. I've never, never actually experienced this before. Why is this not working? Hmm. You can again. You can see my prowess with this video game. It's a miracle I get the, uh, the Sword Legion to work, isn't it? Hmm. That's weird. I have no idea how that worked. Again, demonstrating how good I am at this game. Ironically, I um, pretty much aced the Blade Wolf section um, when I tried that DLC. I found that a lot easier, to be honest. Which is kind of weird, because apparently, I think people don't really like that one. And I've never actually touched Sam's DLC now, I think of it. Whoop. Um, but yeah, Blade Wolves was a lot of fun. I managed to even s stealth the section that happens right here. Oh, wait, the frame rate's fucking shit in the bed today, isn't it? Okay, let's, uh, let's the Black Knight you. Man, is it dumb to contemplate actually doing a full LP of Sonic and the Black Knight? Because I kind of wanted one day. Yeah, amongst all these projects that have never been finished. I'm hoping that maybe I'll have enough time to be able to do a deal with Caterpillar March over here. That's a good Kai's song. Start listening to Kai's again, it's some good shit. Not like they're putting out new stuff, but you know. Haven't been for several decades at this point. Okay, we locked onto, I think so. Wow. Yeah, so uh, button mashing, huh? It's basically uh, Revengeance. So I know this game's gonna be a decade old 
I believe it's Feb next year, February next year. Um, I am terrified at the prospect of feeling obligated of doing a full LP of this game. Because, uh, yeah, you're seeing why. <laughs> Maybe I'm being too harsh on myself, but I feel like I don't have much prowess in this compared to Astral Chain or even Devastation. Which, I never showed off the, um, that sniper bug. The gun bug that lets you, like, eviscerate bosses in, like, five shots. Not that I ever figured out how to do it, but I meant to mention that the entire playthrough, and I never fucking did. Yeah, so I didn't get, um, past this barricade last time. So this is all gonna be... Well, you know, I kind of remember it, but... Not incredibly well. So apologies if I have missed some stuff. Great, sticky tape's coming off. Gotta fix up my cable. There we go. Nope. No, no thanks. No way, friend. Okay. Yeah, I believe we head up there, but I think there's... There's something else around here. I'm being too casual to care. Oh, that's right. Um, The photo frame. How could I forget such, um, tantalizing mechanics? Um, I don't think I ever mentioned it while I played Astral Chain, but, um, call me a casual. Um, but I don't really mind that Astral Chain doesn't penalize you too much for, heal uh, too much for healing. Because, um, yeah, it's pretty rough going to Bayo, back to Bayo. Um, given it was made, you know basically a decade prior to Astral Chain, and not, not having, um, Zandatsu. I'll let this one play. Is this the Mistral Cuts? Yeah, it's the Mistral Cuts thing. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, it definitely makes this game and, um, Astral Chain way more forgiving, and I'm hoping it's in Bayo 3. Someone was saying they think they saw some devastation tech in there, which, uh, makes me excited. Because I'm not shit at that one. Oh boy, this is a good game. This is a very fucking good game. Alright, fucking confession time. Um, I'm not sure how into Bayonetta I am, so, um, you may or may not see videos of Bayo 3 yeah. depending on how hard I bounce off of combat. Right. I'm buying it regardless to All show right. my support. I'm heading for the refinery. And because I'm kind of hoping some Astral Chain or Scalebound tech got in there somehow. So I might have something. Because uh, I'm one of those weirdos who, um, who had V as their favorite part of DMC5. Nero's fine. Dante's really fun. It's, it's, I don't know what it is, is about Nero, but I think it's about the fact it's some subtle form of OCD makes me regret not being able to max it at every single hit, which I know is, you know, not feasible for a good percentage of the population. Um, something, something skill issue. I hear that's the, uh, that's the thing people say nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I remember this part, actually. But, um... Yeah. We'll see how we, uh... We'll see how Barrier 3 goes. I'm looking forward to it, finally. Again, how dare Nintendo have saved the franchise. Get off. Boy, oh boy. You can tell I'm doing my best to just dance around the whole actual Bayo 3 thing because I got nothing to say. Everything's been laid out. Um, yeah, we'll just see if anything else occurs. Other than, yeah, looking forward to it. It should be a good time. I did hear Bayo 2 is meant to be much easier. So if I have enough free time, I mean, these next few days, and let's be honest, I'm not going to do it. I was contemplating actually going through and beating Bayo 2. Uh, the Wii U edition. But yeah. He's on the roof, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. How do we get up there again? We can't just Zanda... We can't, Zanda, so we can't just ninja run up, unfortunately. 
Jump, there we go. Easy. I got spotted, but who cares? Um, fuck it, while I'm thinking of it, let's get it out of my system. Hey, Elden Ring's pretty much the best game ever made, in my humble opinion. I'm shocked some people hate it, and reckon it's worse than Demon's Souls OG. Um, that might be a bit of hyperbole sinking in. But yeah, I'm genuinely shocked people don't like Elden Ring. Because that's also part of the reason I haven't made vids, because Elden Ring's just really fucking good. I utterly love it. And I reckon it's better than Dark Souls 3 in almost every single way conceivable, to be honest. Wow, Gecko, what is going on with you, bro? You're just kind of giving up. Um, but yeah, no, Elden Ring's a fucking great game. Um, Surpass Astral Chain, The Wind Waker, Sonic Adventure 2, Mario Galaxy, anything like that, in my humble opinion. Uh, I reckon there's still narrative going back to all the older Souls games, though. Definitely. Sekiro is still godlike, even though I wouldn't call that the Souls game, because they tried to do something different and they bloody succeeded. Alright, I fucked up the front. Sick. Well done, mate. Um, oh, you're still alive. Um, what else? Bloodborne is still godlike, of course. I went back and played a bit of that recently. Well, recently, it was a few months ago. Just picked around up to gas point. Good stuff. So as you can see, I've been doing everything I can to avoid actually making videos. <laughs> uh, it's mostly like, kind of burnout, I guess. Oh great, do I come back with a helicopter or not? Yeah, we'll come back and fight it. Fuck it, I'll do it. I'm gonna miss some stuff, but who cares. This is just, this is just for fun, really. I just, I just want to enjoy this game. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm legitimately shocked some people hate Elden Ring. It's a bloody good game. I would highly recommend it to anyone. Because I don't really care if it's supposedly easier. It just, I think it's just the Pokemon problem that no one likes to admit. Yes, technically Pokemon games have gotten easier. But at the same time, I think people undervalue how many more tools you have. Um, compared to the old days of... Charizard has literally just fire and, um, fire and normal attacks. But stuff like Submission. Which sucks. Um, coverage moves are better, reusable TMs make it so your entire team can have really good attacks, Z moves, Megas, Dynamax, um, being able to breed egg, egg moves onto your Pokemon mid-playthrough, working out how to ch like manipulate IVs and all that, and EVs. Like, I think it's just that, just Elden Ring gives you so many more tools to deal with situations. And God forbid you use Spirit Ashes because they're enjoyable. Alright, here we go. That red, that red main about. knight is my friend forever. So I'm beaten millennia though. I'll be honest, with all the um, with all the time I've spent playing Elden Ring across multiple characters, I've never beat the game entirely. Mostly because, well you know, uh, certain triggers affecting world, state, and other quests, so... I don't really want to fuck anything up. But yeah, no, that's a damn good game. As, as I'm getting fucking destroyed by helicopters. Ah, get good. Alrighty, I, I think you guys have less help than the, um, the one we just fought. Like, what, ten minutes ago? Something like that. Alright, fuck this. Um, another thing I didn't really mention, this, um, LT, oh sorry, LB, is a bit dodgy too, to be honest. Um, so there's been times when I was doing my proper playthrough last year, where the oil drum just kind of lifted up right in front of the Mastiff. You can imagine I was incredibly happy when that happened. Boy, it, it made me really enjoy what was happening. Oh, that's right, Mastiffs also fucked me up because I couldn't deal with a fucking running grab. Which has some pretty nuts tracking, speaking of Souls games. <laughs> oh yeah, well I'm thinking of it. Hey, did you know tracking's bad except for Dark Souls 3? It's bad when DS2 does it, it's bad, it's bad when DS1 does it, retrospect, now we have Hindsight. And Elden Ring's particularly bad with it, even though it's not really any worse than the others. But hey, I'm getting this out of my system, so when I get back to Astral Chain, you don't hear me go, hey, Elden Ring's amazing. 
It's just a really fucking good game. Alrighty. And you're dead. And I'm low health. But I'm pretty sure this is... Well, I know there's a couple of songs where I can get some... Some goodies off in a moment or two. Probably chests or two are missing, but... Ah, uh, who cares. I'm... I'm cool with that, sure. And I don't think they'll ever attempt this kind of system again, though, for obvious reasons. For incredibly obvious reasons. Um, okay, I haven't done this properly, so fuck it. Let's get, let's get one in before I pull this quits. Nope, it's falling apart. Sweet. Cool, cool. Yeah, um, Zandetsu's awesome. Batek is awesome. Kojima Productions added themselves coming up with it. It's just, same, it's just a shame they couldn't make a decent game to go around it, apparently. I could heal, but that'd be being casual, so, you know. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Right. The cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not This game really doesn't look nearly as bad no. as it should, um, given the error it came out. And I mean, obviously, the stuttering's not great. Some of the textures do look a tad dated, but you know, in the context of the time, um, I'm cool with it. I'm happy I grew up right in the, like, the perfect era to, like, well, you know, have them to sell to, for, for the GameCube era, I guess. Oh, yeah, geckos, that's right. The little geckos, at least. The dwarfs. The dwarf geckos. Politically incorrect, I'm sure. Uh. Something, something, political correctness gone mad, even though it hasn't, but hey, whatever. Video games shouldn't be political, so let's sit back and enjoy this Kojima game. About politics, nonetheless. Crazy, I know. It's funny how Metal Gear is so overtly political, but, you know, we shouldn't be political in games. Crazy. Oh, Christ. For some reason, I'm not a fan of how the left stick works in this one in particular. Okay, I used one of the skill packs, didn't I? Shit. Oh my god. And no, I can't blame the controller on this, and nor would I. This is entirely on me. Wow, I am shocked I managed to get high, like a high time going on there. Okay, that was weird. Didn't want to zen, uh, Zendetsu for a sec. I I killed all the, all the mini geckos somehow. Good shit. I should come clean and say I haven't really ever played much of a... Metal Gear Solid game out of like a, the couple of hours that I screwed around with five a couple of years back and um, well before I realized my PS2 hates discs and tried to destroy Persona 4 and Snake Eater so um yeah hmm look I just grew up with him being awesome in Smash Bros okay and it's yeah, you know, Snake was already awesome to, to begin with. Ah, uh, here we go. But not quite the prison break, um... <laughs> they're not quite the prison break, um, cameras. That's a, that's an interesting game. Wouldn't recommend anyone else buying it, even though I've got it. One of my brothers really likes prison break. Or like at this point, I guess I should say. One day I'm hoping to trick him, trick him into doing a full playthrough, and by trick him I mean eventually wear him down. That'd be great. Raiden, wait. There are active IR sensors in the area. Oh, yeah, I've never used this. I don't think I've used this once this entire session. It. Okay, so I have to jump this, right? Okay, I didn't do a pattern and immediately fuck this up. I did it on the second one, though. Good job, man. Wow. It's amazing I did so okay on those stealth sections in Astral Chain. What is going on there? I think it's because I was, um, semi button matching. <laughs> hey, that's right, you guys have guns, don't you? Oh, Christ, that was weird. Alright, can I at least get you? Come on. Oh, this is embarrassing. Damn it. I mean, it's way easier just to do this, though. 
I know there's that one chest I'm gonna need um full meter for. That's just coming up. Oh wow, you too, huh? So I'll try not to fuck it up. Took me a while to find that one. I can't remember if Pat gets it in the LP. It's been a while since I've rewatched it. Uh, that's a mission. We have to go through this door. I know it's um I know where it is. It's behind some fans I have to cut open. Apologies for everything else I've missed so far. I'm so tempted to just run through this and get this over with. Yeah, you know what, fuck it. If I hit something, I hit something, I don't care at this point. I just want to get to I This this is um this is what Astral Chain devolved into, thanks to File 12. Nah man, I just want to fight stuff. I think people are a bit hard on the detective stuff in Astral Chain, though. Never, like, that long for the most part. Like, the longest section is maybe 10 minutes, and even then, like, that's not going the slowest you can go, but it's not going the fastest you can go either. Like, around Harmony Square. For the most part, though, like, when you know what you're doing, it's like a 30 second nuisance. Oh, except for the part where you can, like, go to a different point of the chapter. Yeah. That would be convenient when I'm trying to record Fighting Monsoon. Yep, you bet it happened. I knew it. The second I turned around, I'm like, I'm expecting to eat an RPG. God damn it, this is getting frustrating. Yeah, okay. I just, I just want to, I just want to finish him off. Alright, whatever. This, this works too. Don't worry, I remember the MIB down here. Alright, fuck this. Let's just, uh, let's just duck in here. Let the heat die down. We're in five stars. Uh, let's, let's chill. Let's chill. Hello, friend. <laughs> nice hiding spot. Wonder where you learned that from. Yeah, I wonder. I know this is kind of coming out of uh, nowhere. It kind of scares me the, the amount of people that um, don't just like Armstrong, but um, are a little attached to his ideology. I kind of feel like the game was trying to point towards some flaws in his logic, but um, I guess I'm not based enough to understand. Might makes right. Power is, you know, power is absolute. Only the strong survive. Ignore the fact I have a fucking nano machine heart. Nah, basically red pill that I'm strong. Even though we, <laughs> even though we hate all that shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Used to play college ball, I hear. Wow, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, the vent. Yeah, I thought so. God, this is prison break. I have to unscrew it and everything. All right, expect me to fuck this up. We did not. Perfect. 10% extra health for the Mr. Alphite. Radio. Good. Full heal. Right, it's been a while since I fought Mr. Al. It's actually been... Well, no, no, last year. But between, like, last year and when I first played this, it was like three or four years, I think. So, yeah, it's been well over a year since I fought her this time. So, um, I'm gonna fuck some QTEs up, no doubt. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsayev, where is he? Yeah, no one calls him Jack the Ripper. I can show you a better time than that. Is it just me, or do I... Does anyone else not you. really use, um, I am Ripper Mr. mode much? I know one of my mates I got into playing this game really didn't use it either. The one spot we agreed on using it on was the grads, the double grad fight. Um, when you're running through the through the offices, you know, right before sundown, right before the good old days after 9/11. I'm only half French. And we had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see. Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I'm I contemplating and it's giving myself more work. I'm contemplating chucking in in juxtaposition the clip at the start of Blade Wolf's but campaign. Those fuckers. My family's killers. 
That's you know, just for the uh, to create some I'm contrast here. Too. And a good one at that. Between backstory and depth I compared to fan service. In Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened happened. To yep, be honest, here we go. I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino. One after another. <sighs> I don't know if we should Not um once did I feel threatened. I I, I think I it's Kojima. We uh, challenge <laughs> We um either At thank or blame depending on your perspective for this. At least they had a cost to die I think we, yeah, I'm pretty sure the character designs were and done before Platinum took it over. But they had some some input. Who? <laughs> and I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I protect Cut and take, weak. apparently. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. Okay, the music has been cut in just yet. We're getting there though. I think her weapon's the favorite, my favorite out of the uh, the boss weapons you get. Not counting Sam's, because you know that's kind of different. Sundown is pretty good though. Wait, what is it? Dystopia's um, monsoon. I can't remember the name of Sundowners, but I rem remember how I enjoy how fucking heavy that is. But um. I can't pronounce hers because I don't know French, but it's a good fucking pole arm. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this one, so I'm gonna get blown up for just rushing in. I should probably just kill the geckos first by button mashing as I am. I'm shocked that's the first time I got hit. I really should have got hit for being greedier. Okay. Okay, stick. Okay, good. I really like A Stranger I Remain. I mean, I like every single soundtrack. Uh, <laughs> song in the soundtrack. God damn it. That's right. Oh shit. This is gonna be great with a, um, a buggy stick. That's not, um, that's not a euphemism. As much as Mr. Al would want it to be, I'm sure. That is one thing. Sometimes the camera doesn't keep up, but I've heard uh, that's a thing in Bayo too. <laughs> okay. Okay. We got it. Wow. Thanks, Gecko. You knocked me out of it just in time, I reckon. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what happens. Yep, that's what happens in this phase. It's been a while. Um. Overall. Oh. I'm trying to think what my favorite song in this entire track is. Okay, what have I got to mash? Or is this... That's... Wait, no. Okay, got it. Okay, that's meant to happen. There's me confusing with, like, that one attack of Jenna's I can't figure out. You know that bit in the rooftop fight? The one I'm going to have to do very, very soon? Um... Does... I, I'm not sure if anyone not watching this is gonna really know. Is there a prompt when she does that, um, the slow-mo slash? Because I feel like there's something I've missed for years. Um, like I said, I'm more of a lurker, so, uh, it's not like I'm making a Reddit account to go ask there, and I'm, I apologize, I'm not joining a Discord. I am not a Discord person. Now, I remember this phase being relatively easy in contrast. This mini beat em ups uh, beat em up section. Up. 
Man, this song's fucking good. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I guess the only thing I know for reals up there. Rules of nature is always good. And it'd be cliche. Yeah. Good for the gym. Especially the version I edited for myself years ago. <laughs> so the vocals get really fucking loud when they finally kick in and after the instrumental loops once. Ah, oh boy. I've been trying to edit that for something with lock and loaded, totally non astral chain related thing I've been sitting on for months. Definitely not that. Um, expect, expect to see that with a clip of fighting Cerberus. Wow, okay. Are we on to the... No, we are not on to the next phase. Yes, that... Yeah. There we are! God, I'm stumbling over my words. I mean, nothing's changed in all these months, clearly. This is... This is where it hits, right? I know it's probably really dumb, but I can't help but charge in during it, because the song's so fucking good! I have to full on take my, uh, like, take my right hand off the controller for that. Oh, Christ! Now, I know there's no actual chain enemy that has that animation. Okay, this is a lot easier. I'm happy they at least designed it so you can do it with, um, with the buttons and you don't have to use the stick. Definitely a lot easier than uh, as um, sorry. Astral Chain with the Sword Legion is definitely easier thanks to the slowdown. Okay, she's doing the projectile spam. What's the last part of this? I forget. I mean, I know how it ends, but I'm trying to remember what happens right before it. Oh, here we go. Why do I have to mash? Okay, here we go. Thunders! I, uh, I don't think... Okay. Is it meant to do that? <laughs> I'm shocked that it's an A rank. Yeah, I'm um, dropping. So this is how they felt. What? Dying. For our cause. Great. No. Hold on. I am sorry. He was... too much. I do not need apology. I need you alive. But... I know... You will never fall. What is this talk about? To them. The two more car. Je t'aime. Mister. You'll never. She's not talking to you, idiot. You! You killed her! You fly your nuts! Murderer! That's rich coming from you. It's over, Dos I am. Surrender. <laughs> Translation? <laughs> Why would I surrender? We are exactly where I want. Shit. Built with Russia money. You make Russia money. It is no plan for Abkhaz. It is their prison. But now, they will be free! Damn. Crazy son of a bitch. Raiden? Raiden, what happened? Bastard blew himself up. I think. Time to get you out of there. We're sending a helicopter. Secure an LZ. Understood.
feel like that cutscene's very relevant and poignant at this point in history. Which mission did I miss? I don't even re remember this game well enough to hazard a guess. Ah, well. Coup d'etat's over. There we go. This thing's awesome. Right, well, that's where I'm going to wrap things up. Um, whether or not I put this up um, in two parts or it's just one whole slab, which is probably what I'm going to do because fuck editing this too much. Um, yeah. Let's be honest. Um, when we uh, when we get to some point in the future where I'm brave enough to play this, this is what I'm going to be doing immediately. I mean, yeah, more health, sure, but, um, skills. That said, um, I get why Astral Chain's the way it is, in terms of, like, a skill tree. I kind of just prefer this, so. I get it's trying to be an RPG, but I always prefer this system. It's very easy to make a skill tree not great, but it's, it's fine in Astral Chain, and it's a good way to gate stuff, um, in a fairly fair way. But I still just prefer buying all the skills. Anyway, um, that's it from me. I'm going to stop here. Um, I think the second I exit, it's going to boot me into the next mission. So we get to see Mariachi riding as I fit. Yep, yep, there we go. Anyway, yeah, no, um, that's it for me. I'll just let this play out. Um, I'm not dead. I'm alive. You've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Definitely wasn't yeah. murdered I'll by see. taking a soccer ball I'll to the back of the head on Tuesday. The My neck That's fucking hurts from this. Ow. Right yeah, um... You gotta be careful yeah. when you're a teacher and you're doing, uh, yard duty when you're out at it, out and about. ASAP. Um, at recess Hopefully and lunch. You yeah. First time a soccer ball's actually you fucking hurt when it's hit me. <laughs> anyway. I had the good doctor make some adjustments. Oh boy, I love this cutscene. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw. I'm just all for time to let this play out. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. In let's conclusion, go. um, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is a is a game of contrasts. Um, the Indians call it Maze, I'm stalling the Simpsons references because I just want to get to the Adios Amigos, so I can end the video right there. It's still a really fucking good costume though. I hope we get it like a Mariachi, um, Bayo in 3, that'd be great. That'd be great. Anyway, it's been it's been cool. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this. Adios, amigos. Viste? Qué raro, eh? Hay que hacer que no lo vimos. Vámonos ya. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right. Get to waiting, huh?